everyone, welcome back to Clutch Situation. During the end of the school year, things get pretty hectic and crazy and stressful, and so usually my posting uh, tailors off in April and May. And so just be aware that if you're a viewer of the channel, I'm not going anywhere, but I just can't uh, produce videos as quickly as I as I normally would uh, during April and May. But we're at the point where we're making the last uh, pitch for the end of the school year, and I want to make sure that I do a great job in giving my students feedback. And recently, a viewer of the channel, longtime viewer, loyal viewer, David Buckheister, sent me a Pilot Metropolitan fountain pen that he wasn't using anymore. And I had recently mentioned on the channel uh, how I had found the Platinum Balance to be an appropriate fountain pen for me. And granted, this is a mechanical pencil channel, but at the same time, this is also just general vlogging about EDC everyday carry for me. And I've gotten into fountain pens recently and really enjoyed them for grading purposes. And so what I thought I'd do today is give you a window into my first filling of fountain pens with converters. And since David sent me this Pilot Metropolitan, we have a real uh, comparison that we can do here in that the Pilot Metropolitan, which this is the nib for the Pilot Metropolitan, and the Platinum Balance use different style converters. And so I thought it might be pretty cool to not only see me messing up filling fountain pens with all its hilarity, uh, but also to showcase sort of what that was like for filling two different converters. And so since we have two different pens here, I'm going to show off both a bladder squeeze converter and a rotation mechanism converter. I'm, I'm not quite sure what to call it. I guess you could call it a screw mechanism converter. And I'll show those off here in a second. But what I just wanted to start the video off was showcasing for you what I had done for cleaning both of these pens. Um, I'm going to be using Waterman uh, Harmonious Green ink. I've read a wide variety of reviews online, and uh, I've also took some advice from people on the channel suggesting to me that I try a bunch of different inks. And it's not that I don't have plans to try a bunch of different inks, but at the same time, I'm also trying to start off economically. And so I feel pretty confident that I'm going to like the Harmonious Green, and the worst case scenario is that, you know, it's slightly less exciting for me than some other ink. And so I went ahead and dove in on uh, Waterman Harmonious Green. And on Amazon, this was relatively inexpensive. I think I paid less than $9 for this 50 milliliter bottle of ink, which, you know, ink, depending upon its quality and the brand and where you get it from, can be cheaper or it can be very expensive. And this seemed like it was a pretty good balance point for me because Waterman has a really good reputation uh, in the industry. And so I'm going to be using that Waterman Harmonious Green. What you see here is the remnants of the cleaning that I did on these nibs. And basically what I did is I just flushed them with water. I flushed uh, the Platinum Balance. I think I had some distilled water handy. Uh, so, you know, distilled water is water that has been evaporated, and so it is should be pure H2O, not any ions present in it. And if you are a student viewing this channel and it's quarter four natural science, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And uh, for the Platinum, uh, or for the Pilot Metropolitan that David sent me, he was using a blue-black ink in it. Uh, and so I wanted to clean out this nib so that I could convert it over to green, so to speak. Um, and so you can see some of the like ink stains that are left over from me flushing both of these nibs and getting them ready so that I could use this ink with it. And so let's take a look at the two different converters that we're going to use for this. This is the pilot converter. It's a bladder squeeze converter. And I'll try to focus it close. We'll see what we get. Well, that's probably the best that we're going to do. And basically what this is, is just a rubber bladder that you squeeze the stainless steel part here. And then as you let go, you gradually suck up ink from the bottle. And, you know, I've seen that people have different techniques for this, that some people suggest that you do this multiple times, or some people just go with just one sucking up of ink, so to speak, and, and then just run with it. But um, this is going to be the Pilot Metropolitan Converter, a squeeze bladder converter. And then the Platinum Converter, this is a Platinum 500 converter. It came in this box. I ordered this from Amazon as well. 
uh, and it was pretty cheap. I think it was around uh, six or seven dollars for the converter, and it comes with a very simple set of instructions on the box for what you do. You, you stick it into the nib just like you would with a cartridge, and then you turn the little screw mechanism on the converter. And if you can see the metal, the middle of it, the screw mechanism gra gradually draws ink into the converter. And you know, I practiced a little bit with this ahead of time with water, and you may be able to see on the video if you're viewing it in HD that there is still a little bit of residual water inside this converter. I'm gonna live with it. Um, so how do we go about doing this? Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Pilot Metropolitan. Okay, and this is a fine nib. Okay, a lot of people say that they like the Pilot fountain pens, and I'm excited to do this. You take the converter and stick it into the, firmly into the casing that holds the nib. And I have a uh, Kleenex here because I know that I'm going to make a mess on this, and I have a um, uh, vinyl, my vinyl Alvin. Uh, cutting board underneath it so that any mess I make I know is going to be easy to clean up because the first thing that people say when filling fountain pens is that you are indeed going to make a mess. So I already pre-opened this. It was a bear to get this thing to open on first go, which, you know, is probably good because you want your bottle of ink to be sealed. And, um, you know, I guess one thing that, that maybe I want to do, and I'm a novice here, is just maybe give it a couple little tips to mix it. I suppose, in case we get some settling of the pigment. You can say in the comments whether this is something that needs to be done or not, or whether you think it it uh, stays appropriately mixed within the bottle. And so what we're going to do is we're going to submerge this thing completely in the ink, and uh, we'll first give it a squeeze, submerge it completely in the ink, and then I'm just going to gradually open up the bladder gradually open it up okay and they from what I've read online you want to give it a little bit of time to fill up some people suggest squeezing again and you'll see a little bubble if everything is working down into the ink container and then slowly draw up some more ink with it completely submerged and that should be good. Just give it a second to fill a little bit and then wipe it off. And you know, you're bound to get some ink on the nib. That doesn't really bother me, but the one thing that I'm going to do for sure here with another Kleenex is uh, wipe around the plastic because that's where I'll be touching. Okay, and so that's a nice dark green ink. We'll see how this translates online once I get everything done. Okay. And so I think that should be good. And, and here's the casing that I was sent. You know, part of the reason why I really appreciate David sending me this is because um, the reason why I hadn't selected the Pilot Metropolitan Pen while I was exploring fountain pens is because I was it was really struggling to decide on a color. And the reason why I went with the Platinum Balance is because I really enjoyed the, the deep green color of the body of the Platinum Balance. Uh, a key difference between the Pilot Metropolitan and the Platinum Balance is that the Platinum Balance has a plastic casing or a resin casing and I believe that this is probably aluminum, I think, is what we have for the Pilot Metropolitan. But I really like this black and gray motif uh, on the Pilot Metropolitan. Here's the cap for the Pilot Metropolitan. It's a click cap. It says Pilot Japan on it. Okay. And so without any further ado, I think it's best if I just get a pad of paper and let's just go ahead and do a test on this. Okay, I'm going to use my Chauncey Hotel and Conference Center. I was lucky enough to be able to uh, attend a conference about ethics and education uh, through Educational Testing Service uh, recently in January. And so this is the pad from the hotel. And so let's try to do some writing here with the Pilot Metro Metropolitan. I love the color of this ink. That looks awesome. And we're ready to go right away. 
And so, you know, I'll continue to report back as to how long filling of this bladder lasts for the Pilot Metropolitan. But uh, part of the reason why I like fine nibs is that I want a little bit of feedback when I'm writing. I know that for many fountain pen users, their approach to it is that they want it to glide like a knife through butter and not feel any feedback whatsoever. That's going to be uh, individual according to each person. Uh, when capped, the Pilot Metropolitan is a heavier fountain pen, at least for my tastes. And so that could be something that if you're looking to get into fountain pens, you might want to um, uh, consider... If you really wanted to get into fountain pens on the cheap, you would shoot for a Platinum Preppy fountain pen, which is just a few dollars if you get it online, and it would allow you to get the beginnings of a fountain pen experience. And so there it is, a successful filling of the Pilot Metropolitan fountain pen. And I didn't really make a mess, I just have a little bit of green on my finger right there, and so I would call that a huge success. So let's move this back out of the way. And now we're going to go to a different style of converter here, and we'll see how successful I am with this one. This one is going to be really interesting because we're going to be able to see how successful I am with the filling process, given that the converter has this clear section right here. And so we basically follow the same procedure as we did with the Pilot Metropolitan. The converter goes into, it's firmly pressed into the housing that holds the nib. And we have our bottle of Waterman ink. And we're going to, I got to come around my lighting scheme here. And so we're, we'll see how I can do with what, what I'm going to be able to do with this. Submerse it completely in the ink. And then, got to make sure I'm turning it the right way. I'm going to slowly turn the converter. Make sure we're focused on everything here. And allow the pen to draw ink up. One thing that I found when I was practicing with water with this is that um, going slow matters. Well, and I'm finally getting some ink being drawn up into there. And so what I might actually do here, and I don't know if this is wise, okay, but I'm going to do it is I'm going to invert the pen and no, you can see that the ink is still trapped there in the bottom. I thought maybe I could get the bubble to rise back up to the surface. You know, oh, I did it. I got it to rise back up to the surface. And I'm thinking that I might, I'm going to try to just go the opposite direction. And I am getting some leakage here, but I want to try to fill this as, as much as I possibly can. So this is kind of the downside of this method. I'm sure that there are fountain pen enthusiasts in the audience that are just screaming at me for, for doing this. And maybe you have a technique that I don't know. So here we go. This is what I was afraid of, that I was just going to make a giant mess with this. And so I'm going to go ahead and... Press the plunger down one more time. I'm just going to have to do some extra cleaning here. And I'm going to try to go slow here and suck up as much ink as I can. And maybe rather than going slow, maybe it's wiser to go quickly. Okay, maybe that's going to get a little bit more sucked up in there. And so here's what I got. Okay, it's not totally filled all the way. And so given that this is my first foray, maybe some of you can suggest to me a technique that will allow me to get more sucked up into the converter. Um, you know, this is the disaster of a newbie trying this for the first time. And I'm sure there are those of you in the audience who are chuckling right now. Um, I don't, I'm not really seeing from a pressure perspective for drawing liquid up why pushing this back down in there without getting the air bubble is, is, filling it more and maybe I should be going quickly rather than slowing slowly okay I think I maybe got a little bit more there and so now I'm gonna draw uh, grab my rag well Kleenex and clean it off so that one was a bit more disastrous but I'm sure that there are those of you in the audience who will be especially excited to see me fail on something like this because, you know, sometimes I'll get YouTube commenters that, you know how, you know how it is on the internet. It'll be like, oh, what can I do to make someone feel terrible today? Okay, which, you know, I'd, I'd recommend that you'd find a different pathway, friends. Okay, um, because, you know, if you're particularly mean in your comments on the channel, you just lose your comment privileges. It's that simple. 
Okay, and so, you know, it's like you got your one dig in, congratulations, but now you can't make any comments again. Oh, awesome, look at this. Now, inks are water soluble, but at the same time, the pigment tends to get in the grooves in your skin pretty easily, and so I might have this on my hands for, for quite some time, but let's just go ahead and reassemble everything to see how we did with the Platinum Balance. Okay, I'm gonna screw the back on right here, and then I'm gonna cap the bottle tightly. Now notice that this Waterman bottle has this feature that when you want to get the last of the ink out, uh, you can tip the bottle so that you can access more of the ink down here in the bottom of the reservoir. So I think that that's just a cool functional design of a glass bottle that helps to make sure that somebody gets the most ink they can out of it. Or if you're a new person, maybe you'll just spill the ink all over the place like myself. <laughs> okay, so let's Let's actually pick this up, and I only got a little bit bleeding through, and so I think from an overall perspective, the only disaster here is my fingers. And I think that that's honestly pretty much on me for trying this weird methodology of trying to get the air to pop out the side, and that just resulted in more ink. And so let's get our pad of paper. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to go ahead and cap this. I really like the weighting of the Platinum Balance uh, since it's a resin body, but it also looks gorgeous. Um, resin body with uh, this sparkly forest green uh, exterior and gold trim. And this nib is not a gold nib. It's a, it's a gold colored nib, but it's not actual gold that a lot of nibs come in. And one simple reason why we know this is because the Platinum Balance retails for around $40, $45, somewhere around there, and a gold nib pen, the, the nib itself could be $150 plus. So let's see how we did here. This is the Platinum Balance fountain pen. Now what I'm noticing here right away, which is generally... I don't want to say generally because I'm not an expert. What I've noticed and what I've read about with regards to platinum fountain pens is that they tend to be a little wetter, giving a little bit more ink to the page. Uh, and the fine nibs tend to be a little bit more fine than other Japanese models. But I'm actually noticing a little bit of a thicker line here. Let's see if I can... Get a little bit closer here with my tripod setup. This should be fun. Ooh, look at us go! Ooh, look at us go! There we go. So I feel like I'm getting a thicker line with the Platinum Balance as compared to the Pilot Metropolitan, but I totally selected the correct color ink. Okay, this is Waterman Harmonious Green. And I know that it may be difficult to see the precise color in the video, but I mean, it's a, it's a nice dark green. I, I don't want to say that it's, it, it's not forest green. If anything, I feel like that there's a little bit of touches of sea green in it almost. Um, but it, but it's just like subtle and I'm not an RGB expert. I'm, I'm not, you know, aware of what combination of pigments would, pr would produce this particular color, but it's, but it's kind of like, uh, uh, forest green with a hint of sea green in it. Like there's a little bit more of the blue coming through to me, it seems than just green. Uh, regardless, I love it. And one other thing that I'm noticing about the Platinum Balance fountain pen is that the responsiveness and the sound of the writing on the Platinum Balance is a lot uh, more scritchy, scratchy than the Pilot, which I like. And I don't know if you can hear that on the video, but I really like that scratch of this. And so, you know, not a disaster. Well, little bit of a disaster, but, but it could have been worse. Okay, my nose could be gushing blood, right? So uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, continuing to watch my journey into fountain pens. 
I'm excited to use these for giving feedback to students as we finish up the year, and I'm glad that I was able to update David, especially you particularly. Thank you for this gift of the Pilot Metropolitan. I'm definitely going to use this one. I think that it's great to have like a carry fountain pen and then like a backup fountain pen, like maybe at the house, and so I can see dual use of both of these pens. I really like both pens. I love the ink. I'm excited to, to be on this journey, even with all the pitfalls that, that come along along with it. And so uh, I think I'm going to go wash my hands. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Clutch Situation. As I said, videos are going to be at a lower frequency during April and May as I finish up the school year. But then once the summer hits, I'll be posting a lot more regularly. And there's a lot of stuff to look forward to on the channel. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.